Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to I think a New Year's video, this is probably dropping on around the 1st or 2nd of January and if I've completely changed my mind on that when scheduling my videos then I'm sorry but I intend on this going out very early in the New Year so Happy New Year, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do like the shockwave effect, it's uh, something that's been slightly highly requested in regards to my live streams and some of the comments on my videos um, I did this in one of my live streams recently as well and a lot of people wanted to know how to do it it's quite simple so basically I've got a clip here I'm just gonna play the clip as normal <gasps> ignore my reaction there but basically it's very simple so obviously you all you're gonna need for this is basically split clip so basically what you want to do is get to the bit where you're basically about to get the kill so honestly around here is probably perfect so when you start shooting maybe go two frames in and you just want to split the clip there now then all you want to do is go to add transition go to wipes and then you'll see this one called uh, ellipse explode not implode explode explodes the one where it goes out you want to add that one and then you want to go to edit transition go to transition settings now the feathering i honestly like it relatively thick i go like one or 0 0.10 sorry um, and then I changed the color to purple. Now the best way to get the purple is obviously just go well, to, 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 uh, to purple um, and then just turn the brightness all the way up and obviously saturate it. Um, and then boom, you have a purple. And then you should have this. <gasps> now it doesn't look as effective with the clips looking the same on both sides of the split. So with the first bit of the, cl uh, the, the clip, you want to add filter and honestly, I use the dreamy one. A lot of people just use the uh, noir or the like black and white. I use dreamy just because it has that like vignette on the sides. And then boom, you should have this. <gasps> and then that, obviously, you can you can add a saturate on this, make it a little bit brighter. And it just like look at that. It just looks sick, you know. So um, yeah, that is how you do the. Uh, shockwave effect obviously you want to have music in the background you want to sync it um, but obviously you guys should be able to do that if not then there should be some tutorials on my channel that should be able to help you with this sort of stuff so feel free to have a look at that anyways that is how you do the shockwave effect thank you so much for watching I know it's a very short video um, however it should be very effective but uh, yeah like I said happy new year and um, I'll see you guys in a bit bye bye